they want to At first glance, you'd probably think Peter Frechette is someone who enjoys a good workout at the gym. Well, you'd be right. I wasn't frail looking. Yeah. <laughs> but what you'd be surprised to know is that he is a successful artist and the face behind one of the biggest deals in college football. I've been drawing my whole life. And actually, um, I went to college uh, for the more structured uh, you know, drawing. Mine wasn't as st more natural talent, but they showed me the be best way to do things in, in the, the more um, technical way. It kind of helped me out. It, it was good. This Montgomery County native graduated from Montgomery College with a degree in art. Today, his specialty is airbrushing, something he taught himself after having trouble securing a spot in the class taught at the college. It's a talent that's given him his own identity. I started doing our motorcycle helmets in the biker networking. So I, I started one helmet and all of a sudden everyone started calling me. I started doing helmets. I've been doing helmets for about 20 years now. Then, just a few years ago, Adam Clement contacted Frechette about a vision he had as creative director for Under Armour. Frechette had designed a hockey helmet for Clement. That connection ended up being Frechette's big break. Today, he is the artist behind those flashy Maryland Pride helmets that made their debut in 2013. Did you have, like, nerves when you were waiting for them yeah. to run out? Yeah, well, oh my god, it was cool, man. <laughs> and they showed the video on TV. They had a video, Under Armour did a video. I saw the video, right, of you painting. Yeah, and, 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 and some people knew it was me for some reason, because they knew I painted. They go, is, that, is that you? She showed me the Maryland flag on a piece of paper, a little waving a little bit. He goes, just put it on there and make it wave the best way you think is best. You've been doing this for a while, he trusted me, and I did it, and, and, and the first uh, go was a go. That was the first one. Wow. So, yes, and then the only thing that changed was the type on the back. We changed like different product, different colors, different styles. And after that, we came up with that. And I, I actually came up with a little fade there. And then after that, uh, they, 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 they showed it on the athletic department and they, they have signed off. And, okay, we want uh, the 200 of them. Wow. And they just keep reordering, they keep reordering them. Like another 100, another 300 last year. It, it, it kept going and they, they, they're reordering again. We're out here in it's quite an accomplishment for this humble guy who once did construction and worked as a bouncer. He lives on a leafy corner in Colesville and does his work out of two small sheds on his property where we found not only helmets. You do more than just helmets. We're looking at pictures. We have pictures yeah. here on the wall. Obviously, you're a sports fan. There's, yeah, yeah. There's Robert Griffin. But plenty of other artwork on display. Kurt Cobain and talk a little bit about how the idea for this particular drawing came Well, I like rock and roll. I listen to rock and roll all day when I paint. It's not done yet. They're pretty big. I think I'm going to scale them down a little bit. It was a little bit too big. That's amazing. And how long does something like that take? Right there, that's about a week and a half. So that's sort of a, a respite from the helmet, yeah. I guess. Yeah. When you've had enough of helmet painting, yeah. you can do something more creative like this. Yeah. His dream is to eventually open a gallery, but for now, painting helmets is his bread and butter. Frechette also designed and painted 230 helmets for Texas Tech last year, and there are two other schools that will wear his work this fall. Maryland also recently placed an order for more than 200 helmets that will feature a new design. With Under Armour, you have a contract to do these helmets. Um, can you tell us? Do you do, you do pretty well? Is this? Is yeah, this it's really well. Yeah, yeah I, I never imagined it would be that well. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I didn't really imagine it'd be as good as it's going. So <laughs> we don't have to talk about numbers, but it's pretty good. <laughs> this is the Maryland helmet. I'm gonna I'll do some of the stages up. You can watch me do it. We watched as Frechette put his expertise on display, walking us through the steps of painting one of his hundreds of masterpieces. So this is the red. Now that's the, that's the red part, and after you're done with that, you're done with the red pretty much. Now I'm gonna go to the black now. Shade from top to bottom to give it like a little a depth. Believe it or not, he hand paints every single one. I enjoy doing this, you know, this is, uh, it's, it's really challenging. I don't think people even know that tried and true Montgomery County resident who is who yeah. has created the. It's so much work involved. When you're done, it's so you feel satisfied. It's a big challenge. Okay, now we're gonna go to the uh, to the letters.
That's it. That does not look hand painted. That looks like something that came out of a machine. Beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. And of all the helmets he's painted over the years, the Maryland helmet is his most prized work. Uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, the colors, uh, the yellows and the uh, reds and the blacks. I, actually, it's my, still my favorite design out of all of them. I, they asked me at a meeting one time, what's your favorite one, the Maryland one? The first round he painted were auctioned off, and one now sits on the desk of Under Armour founder and CEO Kevin Plank. So what happens when everybody jumps on the bandwagon and they all want a Peter Frechette helmet? What do you do? They're high priced, so it's not going to get that escalate to that. They're keeping it that way. It's smart because they're selling it for a lot of money. I think online, the online Maryland store, they went for $2,000 a piece. That's going to keep them very um, select, um, very um, unique. In the future, Frechette says he'd like to branch out with his work. There we go. And possibly explore some new mediums. But for now, this artist who is content flying under the radar says he's having the time of his life.